I definitely want to know. You guys talked or have talked about now re-releasing Avatar theatrically because there was money left on the table. Do we did not. Other people left. Oh, okay. Well, let me ask you. I, I was curious. Could you talk about the, the? Are you guys interested in doing a reissue of Avatar? And also, if you were to reissue it, there's a lot of talk about deleted scenes being incorporated back in. Do you know what you might want to put back into the film for a reissue? You know, uh, right now, we're going to leave the, the, the option of uh, a reissue up to the public. You know, we always said that, uh, you know, we'd think about a sequel if the public wanted one. Um, if there appears to be a demand and 20th Century Fox down the road decides it makes sense for them, great. We, we'd be thrilled with whatever, you know, they really want to do. Right now, our focus on the deleted scenes is specifically for the home entertainment uh, market. And, uh, you know, we're, we're working on scenes uh, there. That rings throughout the movie, but what we what we don't want to do in terms of giving added value, we don't want to just um, you know just give ten seconds within an existing scene. We want to try and find scenes that you know we can play that are complete scenes where people feel it and they're really getting an added value. So for the special edition DVD that's coming out, I guess later this year. Do I don't think any timeline's been set yet. Well, whenever it does come out, do you envision a extended cut on the DVD, so something with those foot scenes put back into the film? No, I don't think we know yet. I think if you look at what we did with Titanic and what Jim did with Terminator, we sort of made them part of a branch where you could go and see them separately, um, not not changing the cut of the film. But I don't think we just decided that yet. Yes, gentlemen in the back, hand raised, in the blue suit, stand up, blue, sh blue shirt. Okay, yeah. Do you have a street date yet for DVD release for the film? I, uh, April twenty second. So this would be weird. Again, I, there's, there's been no conversations one way or the other, so. Okay, Jim. Hi, John. How are you doing, Jim? Not too bad. Um, you've got some interesting projects uh, percolating, so um, is there enough time between now and Avatar 2, let's say, of being able to do the dive, or is, 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 are, are you and Jim just too tied up? You, you know, know what I'm saying? You know, I, I think that there, there could be. I don't think we have an answer to that yet. I think it depends, you know, how quickly we, we move into Avatar and what the script calls for. I think, you know, we're going to only make an Avatar 2 if and when we're happy with the script. Jim has done two sequels in his career, and I'll contend that each time he improved on the first one, with Aliens and with T2. So if we're doing an, an Avatar 2, it's because we believe it's, for us, as good or better than the first one. And that might mean, okay, it's going to take us some time to get started. If when we have that script in, there's a window of opportunity to jump into something like the dive or other things, we would probably take that opportunity. Okay, gentlemen in the first row, yes. And it's London, how are you? Good of you. Uh, it's funny, when we covered the convention, you know, everything was like there was before Avatar and after Avatar. is going to become ubiquitous in all of our viewing. We see our lives in 3D. It's only natural. Someone said to me earlier, you know, where do we think 3D is going? Is every movie going to be made in 3D? I said, is every movie going to be made with stereo sound? And the answer to that is, you know, of course it is. So I think it's only natural as we, you know, improve. What, and what's enabling us to do it is digital technology. Digital projection is suddenly enabling us to put up high quality 3D and enhance the moviegoer's experience. To me, and I've just been traveling the world you know, doing some press and stuff for Avatar, and the really exciting thing about touching people in, in, in different parts of the world is this restored belief that the cinema-going experience can be magical. And I think 3D is a part of that. But we're not going to have to in 3D. They're, they're not. We might redo Titanic in 3D, but <laughs> I think that 3D is an artistic step. It is not a technical step. And I think that's where people get confused. It's not about going back and saying, let's take something. But if hey, Jim Cameron can be involved creatively and take his time over, I'm talking about over uh, more than a 12 month period, to convert one of his library titles, I think that's worth considering. John, thank you very, very much for You're being with us.